Hi guys, welcome to episode number 8 of Chesterfield FC. We're back mid-October for a league game against Bromley and an FA Cup away game against Brackley. Both games away today. But you can see we've had hit and miss form since we were here for the start of the season. The draw against Yeovil, the defeat to Hartlepool. We then beat Dover 2-0, Yarny and Denton on the score sheet in that one. Before losing at home to Wrexham 2-0 as well, Parrot and Angus scoring for them. Another two goals, but this time a piece here for the game against Altrincham, Yarny and Harrington scoring for us, Hancock and Piers for them, Harrington with a late equaliser, so Yarny put us ahead in this game. Thomas Sang scored the only goal in a 1-0 win over Kings Lynn, before Ben House scored the only goal in a 1-0 win for Eastleigh against us. 1-1 with Waldstone, Liangol scoring a penalty, um, Dan Wishart equalising for them start of the second half. Darlington was beaten 2-0, another Liangol penalty, and then a second goal added in the 63rd minute gave us the win there. Before 2-0 defeat against Ebsfleet, Bingham scoring both for them. 3-0 against Maidenhead, another Liangol penalty. Ryan Gonda and Lawrence Maguire scoring in that one. For Lawrence Maguire got his second goal in two games. And Akeem Rose scoring four goals. This was his first goal in 15 games, I believe it was. Um, is that how long it worked out there? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. In 11 games, sorry. In 11 games. And he scores four in that one, what a, what a performance him there, before then we lost 1-0 to Woking, Todd Miller scoring the only goal of the game, and then we beat Barnett 2-0, Biggins and Ryan Gonda scoring it in this one for us, we've had a change of formation as well, we've gone to a tick attack of Watkins, Yarny, Evans, Maguire, Jones, Biggins and Rowley, Gonda, Whelan, Angol and Akeem Rose is the team that we're putting out today against Bromley. Makari on the bench is a new loan signing from Stoke. Um, he's had one start, six sub appearances. I brought him in because apparently he was lead two quality and he, he definitely hasn't been. He hasn't been National League quality, but... We'll see how he progresses. There's a chance he can force his way back into the team because the whole team hasn't particularly been National League quality. We come into this game sat in 10th place here. Need a result to continue moving up the table. You can see we are 13 points off the top. Angol steps in to find Rowley. Goes across to Yarny right back. Gonda into Biggins. Gets it back. It's getting a bit tight over there. But Gonda brings it into some space. It's still Gonda. Finds Angol into Rose. Who finds the back of the net. Lee Angol assisting Akeem Rose. But that one was all about Ryan Gonda. He had very little space on that right hand side. He cut inside. He found the space. So he's got three players around him here. One backs off a little bit. And that gives him the space to run into. Lovely ball into Angol. One touch. Open up the room for the pass into Rose, who finishes with the outside of his foot four minutes into this game, and it's 1 0 against Bromley, and that moves us up into eighth place. Just two points behind Stockport at the moment. Stay as free kick from deep. Dodds heads on and heads just over as well. That was dangerous, and we can see here again. Eight, it's going to be one of them games, I think, where. It goes either way. Maguire with a very early booking. It's a slight worry. Um, they also have a centre-back on an early booking as well. Jones with the throw-in. Finds Rose. To angle on the edge of the area. Hits one. Curling and it, kicks, it hits the crossbar. And goes over. That's a lovely effort. Lovely, lovely effort there. Yarny's long throw. Stevenson smashes clear, but only to Jones. Looks forward. There might have been an offside in there, but the flag stays down. Rowley misses his header. Coulson heads on to Duffus. Gardner out to Sayer. Purrington gives it back to Sayer. The punters apart here a bit. Duffus with the free header. Makes it one apiece. Watkins probably should have done better there. It was straight towards him. That's his 50th league goal in his career. It was a lovely header, but yeah, definitely question marks. Both over the defending and over the goalkeeping in this one. We've got two plays around him, and yeah, Watkins has to do better there. 
He has to do better with that. And I think it could be time to be looking for a new goalkeeper, to be quite honest with you. He's definitely not not good enough. And the problem is, neither of the rest of the goalkeepers we have at the club. But now, he is wanted by um, Aldershot, I believe it was. So, if they can put a bid in and we can get some money for him, that's a nice little bonus for us. Let's play for set pieces. We are pretty good from them. As we come into half-time... I'm going to tell them I'm not happy with their performance out there. Motivate them all. You can see we've not quite had the possession, but we've had so many chances. And Jones with the free kick towards the back post is header clear, but only as far as Gonda. Cross is blocked, and now the counter-attack is on for Bromley here. Purrington into Duffus. It's three on three. Duffus one on one, and he beats the keeper and makes it two on. And from 1-0 up very early on, and looking very comfortable, we managed to throw it away yet again. It was just a simple counter-attack. Duffus gets in and fires across the goalkeeper. And we are berating the players here. Yarny with the throw in. Finds Whelan, gives it to Rowley, back to Yarny. Cross towards Rose, gets his header and it's just over the bar. And, I mean, there's a real danger of us being sacked this season as well at this rate. Howard's ball forward only finds Yarny. There's still plenty of time in this game, so no need to panic just yet. Rowley looks forward. It's headed clear, though, to Yarny. Just trying to watch the movement up front, and we're not really finding the space. And goal gets in behind here, though, and hits the post when he perhaps should have pulled it across as well. And we are going to look at making a change here. Tom Whelan switch with Rowley, and then McCourt can come on there. Um... Take Gonda off for Asante, switch him with Rose. And see if that can hopefully make a difference for us. Jones with the deep free kick. Towards Maguire, it's headed clear though. Asante's going to get there, keep it in, just about. Rose in a little pocket space. Cross comes in towards Angol, gets his head on and it's 2-2. Lee Angol assisted by Akeem Rose this time. They've reversed for that first goal to score the second goal. And we are back on level terms. And he did really well. This is what I wanted. I wanted plays fine in these pockets of space. Evans plays that 1-2 with him. It's a great crossing towards the back post. And Angol gets up above his man to head home. We've gone very attacking and we're going to encourage them. Rowley now gets past Stevenson easily and has space. Finds Rose into a Santi first time, takes a touch, and keeper saves it. And that is a massive chance. And if we don't win this game, that could come back to bite us in the backside. Jones delivers the corner, it's headed clear. Rowley gets there to Yarny. And that's the end of that highlight. But we get another one straight away. Evans' free kick goes short to Yarny. He plays one forward for Asante in behind. Doesn't really have the support. He's going to have to do everything himself. He's tackled and he's won a penalty. It looked like a clean tackle, but the referee's given the penalty. Of course, no VAR at this level. Liangol steps up. He doesn't miss often, but he's missed this time. Howard saves and he goes out for a corner. India. Nah, it's going to be one of our games. Yarny's header goes over. I wanted the man more, but it's still too early after the encouragement. Rowley's free kick, flat, knocked down by McCaw. Rose's shot is saved. Out for con, it's another sitter. It's another one-on-one -on -one from six yards out that's been saved. And we just don't have the composure... We're not clinical enough. And now there's a potential counter-attack on again here for Bromley. But that is the end of that highlight. Let me demand more. Corner from Jones. 
towards Yarny this time. And he's heading just over again. So many chances. So many chances for his 22 shots, 10 on target, and it's 2-2. Two, two. Yarny's going to come into the centre of defence. Makari's going to come on for Jones. And he's going to go up top as a target man. And then we're going to switch in with Evans. We're going to shoot on sight. We're going for long ball. We're going route one, ladies and gentlemen. We are going route one to try and find a winner in this game against Bromley. Let's encourage them for these final couple of minutes. It doesn't look like anything's happening though. We are into the final minute of the game with four additional to go. Time's ticking away. We're into that last minute. Is there going to be a last chance? We've had 25 shots in this game, 12 on target, and it finishes two apiece. And we are still yet to win this season in a live com. And next up is the FA Cup game. Against Brackley, who are in the division below us, 27 shots in total. They had nine, and it finished two apiece. I need a clinical striker. I need someone that can consistently finish the ball. I thought Rose was that guy. I really did, considering he scored so many goals last season. 28 goals in this league last season. I just I don't know where... We're going wrong with him. But that's something I've got to figure out. We'll be back for the FA Cup game in one moment. So it's FA Cup fourth qualifying round here. And um, we've gone with a completely rotated team for this one. But first of all, in between the two games, we've signed a new contract with the club. We remain here for another three years. I basically requested to the board to have a new contract. Mine expires at the end of the season. And I thought I'd better rest now while my club vision rating is still decent after last season. Then in a few months time, if the fall continues. And um, yeah, so we've signed a new contract we're here for another three years until we get sacked. That is Coddington in goal, Sang, Macari, Harrington and Whittle at the back. Butterfield and early midfield, Galloway, Mandeville, Crowver and Asante are the front four. Wharton, Ogle, Gay, Burner, Wakefield, McKay and Denton are the options off of the bench today. So you see full 11 changes there. I know we need to get through to the next round, but we should be beating these. Um, I say should. We should have been winning a lot of games this season that we haven't. But we'll see what we can do. And maybe some of these players can play their way into the first team for the league as well. This is a big opportunity for every single person out on this pitch today for us. They they really have to, you know, come and stamp the mark and, and prove to me why, you know, they deserve more game time. And we are 20 minutes in. We've had more of the ball, but we've not had a single shot yet. And it's a corner for Brackley. And Coleman heads just wide. I thought that was in for a second then. That was a massive, massive chance for Brackley not taken. And we are half an hour in, almost. We've still not had a shot. Could this be the first one from Whittle's throw-in? Not like that, it's not. Cook smashes clear to Sang. Loves one back forward for Asante in behind. And it's straight to the keeper and the flag goes up anyway. He was offside. At least it's counted a shot. We've actually had one. But yeah, I mean, it's disappointing for him to be offside. From a position like that, while the ball's been cleared out and come back in from such a distance. As we come towards half time, there's one final chance here. Galloway's corner. Makari heads just over, clips the bar. And there's one other minute as we come towards half time. And, well, we are throwing a water bottle again. We're going to turn them far from please. A lot of players not playing very well at all here. We're going to berate them as well to start this second half. We're going to go more attacking. 
we're dominating the ball, we're just not creating chances here. And I don't know how much longer I can leave it before making changes. I think we're going to have to change things around now. Uh, Crowther, he's going to come off and switch with Mandeville there. Jack McKay is going to come on in his place. Saxton Early is going to come off for Burnett and Whittle off for Ogle. And that's all three changes made already now. So if we get an injury, we're down to 10 men. Encourage. Something, please. So throwing deep in Brackley's half. York gets there and finds Harris. There was no pressure on either of them now. Cook to Broughton. Harrington steps in there well. Finds Galloway. Lovely ball for Mandeville. Flick to Burnett. Butterfield. Out for Ogle in space. Can he find a cross? He can towards Galloway and he's had it just wide. It's another pretty big chance. Come and gone for us there. We're on very attacking. Final 10 minutes. Are we going to have to go for a replay here? It looks that way unless we're going to get some last minute drama. It's going to be another draw. We are the draw specialists here. That is full time. I'm far from happy. And yeah, replay. More games for us. Fantastic. Comes up in a few days' time. I will play that off camera. Um, I don't know when we'll come back. Maybe sometime in December. Partly poor Dover, maybe. Dover, Wrexham. Somewhere. Somewhere we'll come back for in the next episode. It's another two draws. It's disappointing. We, we've played four games this season on video. We haven't won a single one of them. And we've been a better team in every single one of them, really. It's it's frustrating. It's very, very frustrating. But that is what it is. We will be back for the next episode tomorrow. If you have enjoyed this, please do hit that like button. It does make a massive difference to me. If you are new here, please do subscribe. So you can find my videos easier. If you've got any comments, any improvements for tactics, videos in general, um, anything that you're enjoying, please do let me know down in the comments as well. That does help me massively but until next time stay safe and i'll see you in the next one peace